For the people who are disappointed in me for cutting my hair, I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Lord. Okay, so I'm laughing, but I know this is not funny to a lot of people. And um, just hear me out. Yeah, let me explain. I mean, it's my hair, right? I know that, yeah, I don't exactly owe anybody an explanation. I know I don't exactly owe anyone an explanation for, you know, how I choose to wear my hair or my appearance or anything of sort. But because you guys have been on this journey with me the whole time here on my YouTube channel, on Instagram, and you've all been so supportive, I just felt like it was necessary for me to like come here and tell you, you know, one or two about why my hair is down to a very low cut. About five, six months ago, I got a protective style in and I told you guys how badly it had affected my hair because I didn't properly care for my hair while it was in the protective style. So it wasn't even the protective style, it was me, right? And you know, I lost a lot of hair while taking it down. If you missed that video, I'm going to insert it where? Somewhere up here, sha. Uh -huh. And since then yeah i've just been managing the hair to be honest and it's not something that i know how to do <laughs> i can manage a lot of things or a lot of situations don't get me wrong right i mean i can put up with you know people not behaving in the way you would expect that they would behave and stuff like that it's human nature right everyone's different even i have my own thoughts but guys, <laughs> and it comes to my hair, and I can't manage. Like, I cannot. I tried, and it wasn't working. Because, you know, after the breakage, even in that video where I explained everything that happened, I know I said, oh, that I'm not going to cut it anymore. I was going to give it a little time, see how it recovers from the breakage. It's been hard. <laughs> so hard like because it gets worse when i'm styling and i get to the front area that's when everything just starts to dawn on me that yo your hair is in terrible shape because the front area had become so scanty and limp and i'll literally hold it and be like is this my hair <laughs> i really just got tired of managing it and i was like you know what let me just cut this hair so yeah that's reason number one for getting this low cut now number two i felt like i'd reached a point where i needed a hard reset psychologically and it's because in the last three to four years i've had to go through a lot of things lost a few people very very close to my heart and i've really just been trying to you know keep my head above water right and i'm the kind of person that I do not like to pour all the negative things that are happening in my life on social media, right? And I mean, I know that it helps sometimes to just, you know, let things out and share. And I personally didn't feel like I was in the right place to put information like that out there, right? So I just handled everything by myself quietly and so far. I feel like I've done very well with dealing with, you know, all these things. And, yeah, I just wanted an entirely different outlook for a period of time. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to keep my hair short. I want to. <laughs> I might. I'm not sure yet. But in the meantime, it's currently growing out. So if I decide to not get a second cut, I'll just let it grow out. <laughs> Otherwise, I mean, I can just experiment a bit while it's still short, you know. Throw in a few colors here and there, but we'll see about that. Yeah. So, guys, other than that, there's really no other reason why I cut my hair. <laughs> Apart from the fact that it was badly damaged and I just didn't want to keep holding on to it. Because, I don't know, I feel like these things um, always have a way of spreading through every other area of your life, right? Person, I'm the kind of person that once my hair gets to a point where I have to start managing it, I just let it go. So far, since going natural, this is my fifth big chop. 
and it's funny how i do not have any short hair content on this channel because um, when i got my first big job um i was still in school at the time and i i think that was even in my final year so i didn't even have the time to start you know juggling making videos and plus i didn't even have the channel did i no i did not have a channel at the time i only had a blog and then then when i got the second big job down it was actually out of frustration because um i didn't get the big job because i wanted to i got it because my hair had grown out to a certain extent and i was clueless as to how i was going to manage so i didn't know how to manage it i didn't know what to do it was just there like in a very big bunch i was like what exactly do i do with this so i cut it again right and the third big show i got uh okay that was um i think when i had um a color damage i had color damage when i got my third big show yeah so that's really been it guys and at the time i got that one that was during NYSC, so I was not even in Lagos. I didn't have access to my studio. I couldn't carry things around. And by the time NYSC was done, the hair had grown out too. There was no time to make short hair content, right? But I'm hoping that um, with this new look, I'm going to have, I'm going to put out sex of living by the road. But yeah, I'm hoping that with this new look, I'm going to work on putting out short hair content. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, um, I don't know. I guess we've come to the end of this video. <laughs> I don't really have so much to say. Um, yeah, and for the people who are disappointed in me for cutting my hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> And for everyone who has supported me one way or the other, either by leaving a comment, subscribing, using my referral codes, especially the people who use my referral codes, guys, you literally put money in my pocket and I'm so grateful. And um, thank you so much. This short head shorty <laughs> is grateful. But guys, um, that's it. That's all. <laughs> This is supposed to be a short video and I'm hoping it's as short as I am making it sound. Making it zingy really. And I hope it's as short as my hair. <laughs> if not shorter. Do you guys want like a 360 look? Let me turn around for you. So for personal reasons, yeah, I actually like to cut my hair in this shape, like this taper shape where I have like less hair on the sides and at the back and then more hair around the crown area. I don't know, like every time I've cut my hair, I always taper it to this um, shape. And I like to do it that way because when your hair starts growing out, it actually grows in that direction as opposed to when everything is growing evenly. Alright guys, um, this is me signing off until another one. Bye!